Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Oleksiy Reznikov. I am the Minister of Defense of Ukraine. It has been 42 days since Russia's large-scale attack on Ukraine. Today, I want to address all the friends and partners of our people and talk about what's happening. Contrary to many predictions, Russia has failed to break through our defenses in three or 30 days. On the contrary, our soldiers inflicted enormous losses of the, on the enemy and thwarted the, his plans. In manpower alone, Russia has already lost 90,000 soldiers, as well as 150 aircraft, 135 helicopters, 700 tanks, and almost 1,900 armored vehicles. The Russian occupiers were driven out of our capital, Kyiv. The liberation from Russian soldiers of Zhitomyr, Kyiv, Chernihiv, and Sumer regions is coming to an end. But the situation remains extremely difficult, especially in the south and east of our country. Russia is concentrating forces for a powerful attack. Ukraine won the first round of the war when intense contact battles were fought with the use of landing operations, infantry and armored vehicles, because our army is well trained and extremely motivated. One of our fighters is fighting 10 Russians. We managed to stop Russia largely thanks to the weapons we received from our partners. I want to thank you for that. However, Russia drew conclusions and changed tactics. It transforms the conflict into a protracted phase and another format. The number of contact battles is decreasing. The enemy strikes missiles, uses aircraft, uses MLRS systems and long-range artillery, destroys our peaceful cities. The shelling is carried out from the territory of Russia, Belarus, as well as the Black and Azov Seas. Under such conditions, the war enters a phase of competition for resources, which in Russia are almost endless compared to Ukraine. To win such a war, we need different help than what we have been receiving before. We want to liberate the enemy occupied territories as soon as possible. After all, the whole world saw the atrocities committed by the Russian army in Bucha and other suburbs of Kyiv. We need to save our people from the genocide. To do this, we need other weapons. First, we need air defense systems and combat aircraft to protect our citizens and our army from missiles and air strikes. Second, we need long-range weapons. This is our long-range artillery missiles complexes, MLRS and heavy artillery. This will keep the enemy at a distance without letting him enter our cities. Third, we need tanks and armored vehicles to break through the occupier's defenses and liberate the occupied territories. Fourth, we need anti-ship missiles to destroy the enemy fleet and unblock ports on the Black Sea. After all, without ports we will not be able to trade, including food, which will cause a global food crisis. Fifth, we need reconnaissance and strike drones. Moreover, there is a very important nuance. Previously, we focused on obtaining Soviet-style weapons. This is a log logistical or logical decision, because this is weapons can go into battle right away. We know how to use it. It will quickly strengthen our defense in the critical period. But the Soviet weapons we need are scarce. They are often in poor condition because they were made 30, 40 years ago. There is not enough ammunition. Under such conditions, the Soviet weapons we have, we have received will strengthen Ukraine only for a short time. That is why Ukraine needs to get the weapons used by NATO countries as soon as possible. This is the best solution for many reasons. First, I, it will be a powerful signal to Russia that it will not succeed in depleting the Ukrainian army. 
On the contrary, the cost of war for Moscow will increase dramatically. The Ukrainian army will be able to put up effective resistance. This is, will be the best incentive to de-escalate and seek peace. Secondly, it will further increases, increase the interoperability, interoperability of Ukrainian army with the armies of European countries. This will strengthen NATO's eastern flank. I'm sure that no one has any doubts that Ukraine can be a donor of European security. We proved it. Investing in our army is the best defense investment imaginable. Third, there is sufficient quantity of NATO-made equipment and it is equipped with ammunition. For example, 105 5mm caliber artillery is used in different countries. There is, will be no shortage of shells as compared with the Soviet system. This is, will not be a short term but a systematic solution. Fourth, many countries will be able to transfer these weapons in different ways. Some are already removing the combat duty systems we need, replacing them with more modern ones. Others just need the permission of the country of origin. The Ukrainian military is quickly acquiring new weapons. They have already shown that they are able to use Western complexes extremely effectively in combat, in combat conditions. Proof of these are the losses of the enemy, which I mentioned at the beginning. We urge you to provide us with the heavy weapons as soon as possible. Russia's leaders are a war criminals. This is recognized by all. When they suffer a military defeat, they will immediately lose power. We are not afraid of Russia and are able to defeat it. We want to destroy the martyrs, rapists and looters who have brought us unbridled pain. This is a chance for the world to get rid of a cruel tyranny. Procrastination with the provision of weapons leads to the de death of our children, to the depletion, depletion of our country. It is also depleting Europe. We need to act. If we do not stop Kremlin, it will come to you. Thank you. Slava Ukraine.